Hello. I uh, just thought I'd do a video on what I did to get my HHO generator together. So what I used was some three-quarter inch acrylic, some plastic fittings, this is a conduit nut for electrical conduit, braided hose, secured with some little clamps, some big stainless steel washers, all the metal here is stainless, though I'm not 100% sure if these are stainless. I cut rubber washers out of an old inner tube, and then of course the stainless steel. Now, uh, this is in Canada, and let me tell you, a sheet of 316L 12 gauge is pretty expensive. Um, I ended up going with 304 12 gauge, uh, just out of convenience. I didn't have to buy a whole sheet, and this is after all my first dry cell, so if I screwed up these plates, which maybe I did, um, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, 130 bucks for all the steel instead of the 380 that I was quoted for 316L 12 gauge, though I would have had an extra half a sheet. <clears throat> so, I tried to go for a, new, a universal plate design, that's just got the plastic on the one side, where I could go with, as I have it configured, that's negative plate. And that would be a positive, and I have all my negatives like this. So negative and positive, and these are all of my neutral plates. Just so I could take it apart and put it around with different, uh, different designs, configurations rather. This is the template that I used so that I could uh, cut my end plates properly. So just put it on nice and square. Felt marker. These two holes are actually uh, a representation of the rubber gaskets I used, which are actually rubber O-rings. Which I forgot to bring from over here. Six inch diameter. Uh, they're resistant to KOH. 1 eighth of an inch in thickness. So in CAD I drew up a, uh, a representation of that o-ring, overlaid it on this plate, cut off everything but a couple of things at the end, and that's so that I know where to drill my input and output holes. Now my reservoir, I am certainly not happy with it. I've tried, I've acquired a few different containers, one of which is that big blue thing over there, which I decided not to use because, largely because uh, the main reason is I wanted a smaller reservoir uh, to start with. But I don't think that's even gonna be my end reservoir later after the cleaning is done because as anybody who has made HHO before knows, uh, things get dirty after a while. The plate's got to get clean and everything. Um, I'm really hoping to find, I was really hoping to find a better container locally, but you know what? Everything's made out of garbage and completely disposable. So I ended up uh, ordering a couple of HHO reservoirs online and Hopefully those will work better. Uh, I tried my hand at a couple different bubblers. Uh, this is my first bubbler. I mean, it kind of worked okay as long as you don't want to put any back pressure on the system. This was my next attempt at a bubbler. I didn't have the right epoxy. So, yeah, that didn't work very well.
So right now I don't really have a bubbler aside from this bucket. But I also ordered a couple of bubblers online with the tanks, so that hopefully solved that problem. It's been a real pain finding containers. And finding straight fittings like this were a bit of a pain too. Uh, that's about it. I decided to go with a 21 plate configuration trying to break down approximately 13 volts by 10 would be 1.3 volts per gap or cell um, through my research I had found that going below 1.2 you may not get production and going any more produces more heat so I was trying to cut it kind of as close as I could and again with my universal plate design I could just mess around with the configurations however I want. So there you have it, uh, my dry cell. Oh, and I've got pretty much enough stuff to make another one, except I need a few more plates cut and a few more of those O-rings. I was thinking of having two of them set up here. Uh, my original thought was to have them both running off of that big reservoir and having a big reservoir would allow for better cooling, I figured. Uh, but I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Um, when those, I, I ordered two reservoirs. One's a 1.2 liter and one's a 3 liter. So I might have one running on each. I might have both have, have running both off of the big one, but only time will tell.